Chapter 12. Ming's air attack on Baron's palace is beaten off and torch recaptured by Flash Gordon. But the escaping enemy ships carry off Dale Orton. Zarkov is tricked into Ming's power, and with Dale and Princess R already his prisoners, Ming now holds the whip hand over Flash and Baron. Flash leads a rescue party into Ming's palace by means of an abandoned tunnel and locates the room where Dale and Aura are held. Unaware that the room is protected by a death-dealing electrical trap, Flash, sword in hand, you wait out here. I'll go in alone. This may be a trap. Captain Torch reports that Flash Gordon and his comrades have rescued Dale Arden and Princess Aura and have fled with them. The gang of war summon the guard and search for them. Watch the laboratory. They may attempt to release Dr. Zarkov also. These prisoners are to be admitted and held in here. This is not a prison. This is an order. Are you going to obey? Yes, by placing you under arrest. <laughs> break down that door. And by that time, I shall have a better and more effective defense. We'll hide these guys somewhere and take their uniforms. Remain here on guard. I must report this to His Majesty. Tom, who you knew, Baron, had been a prisoner here for years. Finally discovered the source of the terrific power Ming controls. Tom confided the secret to you? Yes, the drug here. The power is derived from a strong beam of light, reflected from pure thelenium, a new element, which gives the light great properties and permits it to be transformed into other forms of energy. Where does the light come from? Where all light and power originate, the sun. And it is this thelenium that energizes the purple death dust, the great fire projectors, and all of means weapons of death and destruction. Sire, the Earth Party with Baron and Aura have barricaded themselves in the laboratory. Surround the laboratory, but do not attack without an order for me. But, Sire, with our numbers, we can attack and conquer them. You, you! Don't you realize that with Dr. Zarkov in possession of my laboratory, he is more powerful than I am in my own kingdom? Dr. Zarkov is clever. No doubt, he has learned from Carnes the secret of my sun power. And if we attack, he'll destroy us. No. He must be tricked into coming out. 
and I'll find the way. If we can control Ming's powerhouse, we can handle him. We can destroy him and his palace, but that would mean our death as well. It'd be worth it. We could save the universe by doing so. And now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov. My rocket ship is loaded with enough solarite to destroy the principal cities of the Earth on contact. It is in my space court now. We will send it if you do not surrender at once. I doubt very much that one ship can do so much damage. I have enough ships and solarite to destroy your entire Earth. If you knew the power of it, you would not hesitate to meet my terms. This is a serious matter. I must consult my associates. Very well. I'll give you five minutes. Kind of you. Don't you believe in Zarkov? He's going to double cross us. You mean he has no such ship as the rocket ship Zio? He has, he has, but he's going to send it against the Earth whether we surrender or not. I doubt very much if he has a powerful explosive solarite he speaks of. Ming scientists have for years been searching for an explosive powerful enough to destroy the Earth. I believe they have found it. And there's only one way out. And that is? Take Ming's Zio ship and destroy him with it. It all depends on whether you can control the defensive mechanism of the space court here. It can be done. Well, where will we be when you destroy Ming? In Darkoff's rocket ship. I'll take off in the solar right ship and head back toward the palace, then bail out. You ought to be able to pick me up. Then you'd better let me go with you. No use two of us sacrificing ourselves. Sarkoff doesn't answer our signal, sir. I'll stay here and control the death rays that guard the entrance to the space court. It means your death? Ming killed my spirit when he destroyed my people. For years, I've been waiting for this chance to avenge them. I understand. Notify Captain Sudan to open the tunnel gates for us. I will. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. We'll never forget you, Professor. I fear the Earth people are up to something we know nothing of. I warm up the motor so we'll be ready to leave the moment Dr. Zarkoff arrives. Right. Wait. That's the ship with the solar right aboard. Are you sure? Yes. Ming called it the ocean. You cannot enter the space court until I have signaled Gulf to turn off the death ray. Look! That was caused by the death ray, operated by Drunk. Hello. Drunk? Yes. Turn off the death ray on number seven. They're off. He says the death rays are turned off on number seven. All clear, Flash. I'll circle with the Zeo ship until you take off and join me. Right. We'll keep in touch by radio. Good. Hope there's a parachute aboard. I'm sure there is. It's essential part of the equipment. Well, good luck, Flash. Thanks. Flash Gordon has just entered the space court and taken off your solarite ship. Why didn't my guard stop him? The guards cannot enter the space court. The death ray has been turned on. Uh, it's the work of that clever fiend, Zarkov. He's at the controls in the laboratory. Dr. Zarkov. Solar 
my ship. Gordon will not destroy his friends. Captain Torch speaking. Yes? Yes? I'll report. Sir, Dr. Zarkoff and the rest of the Earth people, including Prince Baron and Princess Aura, have escaped through the tunnel. They've taken off in their rocket ship. And Gordon will use the Solarite ship to destroy me. We must leave it once with the tower, use the auxiliary controls from there. Or the captain suit him to have them turned on. We'll find him in the guard room. Captain Suden. I can't get Captain Suden, sire. You must. Our lives depend on it. Keep praying. Captain Torch, calling Captain Suden. Suden, connect the controls in the tower room at once. I never thought it would ever be in my power to save Ming the Merciless or to destroy him. Then you will not connect the controls? No. Calling Captain Suden in the guard control room. Hello? Is this drunk? Yes, this is drunk. Listen. Can you contact Zarkov? Yes, I can, Captain Sudi. Good. Tell him that Ming has gone to the tower control room. All right, I will. Drunk calling Dr. Zarkov. Calling Dr. Zarkov. Listen carefully. Ming has taken refuge in his tower control room. Tell Flash Gordon to head his solarite ship directly at the tower. I'll tell him. That means you'll be saved, drunk. I know that. But it also means that we can place Prince Baron on the throne of Mongo. Now we can save others who should not suffer from Ming's misdeeds. Flash. Flash. Where's that off? Ming has gone to his tower control room. You know where it is? Yes. I'll head toward there instead of the palace. Don't worry, I will. Captain Sutton doesn't answer, sir. We're doomed. Send a messenger to him. Uh, there's no time for that. Our only chance is that Captain Sutton will connect the controls. Then we can expose the solar right ship while it's in the air. Captain Sutton, your emperor demands that you connect the controls in the tower room immediately. Bail out. He's close enough now. Not yet. He can't afford to miss. You've locked Ming and his retinue in the tower. Yes. And there's only one other way of escape for them. But they will be too terrified to think of it. done as low as possible. ship will hit the tower. I'm sure it will. Watch the fireworks. Destroying Ming, you have saved the universe. In his mad ambition, Ming declared that he was the universe. Then, since you have conquered Ming, I shall radio your father. 
Flash Gordon conquers the universe. And saves the Earth. What's our course now, Flash? Straight for Aborea. And back home. <laughs>